Hello, my name is Dominic Martelli, and this is version 6 of the Bolo Flyer Creator Program. And I'm going to show you a tutorial of how to use the program as a supervisor. So right now, what's up in front of me is a login page. And so the credentials I need to log in are generated by an administrator who creates the account for me. When the account is created, I should receive an email with the account credentials. So if I go to my email, I can see I have a new email. That account has been created for me. I have a username. This is the username I'll use from now on to log in. And I have a password to put in. This password is randomly generated and it's only a one time use. Now, as long as I copy and paste the correct credentials, I should be able to log in for the first time. Straight away, I'm brought into the password reset page. On this page, by following these prerequisites on top, I can create a new password so I can use to log in from now on. This password should only be known by me. Okay, now that I've updated and created a new password, I can now log in and view all the bolos. So the first thing I want to do is create a new bolo. To create a new bolo, I just go right up top and click create. I can then enter all the information needed. First, I'll start with date reported, time reported. And then I can select a category. For right now, I'll just select auto and fill out the fields as necessary. All right, I can then select an image. I can select up to three images. For right now, I'll just choose two random images if necessary. I can also put in a video link. Additional information and a summary if needed. With all the information filled out, I can preview it to see if I like what I see or just click submit. Just for now, I'll just click submit as I'm confident with all the information entered correctly. Okay, so the bola has been successfully created. I just need to check my email to confirm it. If we go back to my email, I have a new bolo alert. I click this link to confirm it. And now the bolo has been confirmed, and here's my bolo. Alright, since I created the bolo and it's mine, I can edit my bolo to change any fields as necessary. I can add new images, change different images, and change the fields as well. This will update the below with new information after I check my email to confirm it. So my bullet has been updated, as with the notice with the status change, and it is updated with the new credentials. To view the details of the bolo, I can either click on the image or click on details on the bottom, and it gives me the exact details I've entered in. It gives me the change of image and my change in summary. But the rest of the information is still there to be viewed. Also, I can filter bolos by agency or just my bolos if necessary. I can also choose the agency to filter it by. All right. So as a supervisor, I am allowed to archive bolos to place in the archive if they're deemed unnecessary. I'll archive my own bolo right now. And it has been archived. I can go to the archive page and view all archived bolos. Archive bolo can still provide necessary information that it can use for other related crimes. As well, I can also search for bolos. On this page, I can select either no agency to search through all the agencies or search for a particular agency, and then select a category and enter the field information to find that bolo. Without any fields entered in, it should be a wildcard search and search for all fields. 
I also have an agency directory to view the, all the agencies associated with the Bolo program. For right now, I can see my own agency as FIU, which I signed up with, and has all information shown. For a particular Bolo, if I do want to see if anything has changed for it in the future, I can subscribe to a Bolo and be updated for any changes. I just select the Bolo, view the details, and then subscribe to the Bolo. I will then be notified by email if any changes happen to the Bolo. And last but not least, I have my own account information. The information is shown right here. If there's any discrepancies, I can contact my agency administrator to make changes to the account details. And over here, I can also change my password if necessary. Okay. This has been a quick rundown of how to use the Bolo program as a supervisor. My name is Dominic Watari, and thank you for listening in.